As we've been reporting, the, more, the Miramar Air Show takes the skies again. With two CH-53 About a half million people are expected to attend the Miramar Air Show, which kicked off today. The show had been canceled, as you probably remember, due to sequestration, federal budget issues last year. NBC7's military reporter Bridget Naso is Air Force with more on one of the highlights of the show. Bridge. Uh, that's right, Mark. Yeah, budget cuts that really kind of put a damper on last year, taking the show out at really a halt. But this year they have not skipped a beat here at Miramar. And, of course, everyone's here to see the Blue Angels. I love the Blue Angels. We actually brought them to you yesterday on uh, NBC7. But take a look at this. There's something else that's really causing a lot of buzz out here at the air show. This is the F-35. And partly it's because this is the first time it's uh, going to be performing here at the Miramar Air Show. It's a very impressive plane. It looks stealth. It's on display. You can get a great look at it. It's still in the development phase, now in its fifth generation. It's expected to be flying missions in a couple of years. It's one of the most technologically advanced aircraft in the world. And one of the pilots that flies it told me why it's so wonderful to fly, because you think less about flying, he says, and you can spend more attention on the other tasks at hand while you're in combat. You have a lot more situational awareness. So we'll take off, meaning we'll take off and we'll pretty much see everything that's out there, which, uh, which is pretty amazing from uh, surface air threats, air to air threats, uh, anything on the ground, we can take a, a closer look at that and we can do it in an easier fashion. So the ability to see more and, and do more with that information is really what sets it apart from other platforms that are out there. Yeah, just one of the many types of displays you'll see out here. You'll see planes, you'll see things on the ground. We're going to show you so much more coming up at 6. Gates open here at 8 o'clock on Saturday. Of course, it's the big night show. And then once again, 8 to 5 on Sunday. So it's great. It's a little warm, you know. Bring your sunscreen and plenty of water. But everyone here had a great time today. Reporting live from Miramar, Bridget Naso, NBC7. And speaking of